Just recently, Tesla posted a video showcasing its pickup truck conquering Hell's Gate, one of the toughest terrains in the world, in just one minute. This record number is four times faster than that of the Rivian R1T, which accomplishes the same feat in four minutes. While that seems impressive, does this mean the Cybertruck boasts four times the off-road capabilities of the R1T? How does Tesla achieve such an impressive pace? No need to fret, I'll provide the answer later on. For now, stay tuned as we embark on a thorough comparison of the off-road capabilities of these innovative pickup trucks from Rivian and Tesla. To begin, let's delve into the suspension system. The reason I brought up the suspension system is because it's one of the most critical features influencing off-roading performance. As you know, Hell's Gate in Moab, Utah is a rugged V-shaped slope positioned near the Colorado River, close to Arches National Park. With inclines varying from 20 to 45 degrees, successfully navigating this terrain is not easy and demands the right equipment. Well, here's the rear suspension of the R1T, and as you can tell, it's fully independent. There are five links back here, and all of them are aluminum. And then, of course, there's the big air spring dominating the scene in the background. Not just R1T, all Rivian vehicles are equipped with independent air suspension, providing up to 6.5 inches of vertical travel. This allows for ride height adjustment, ranging from as low as 7.9 inches to as high as 14.4 inches, later updated to 14.9 inches for the R1T. Likewise, Cybertruck contains a well-tuned, fully independent suspension system, comprising standard, height-adjustable air suspension coupled with adaptive Bilstein shocks. For those unfamiliar, Bilstein is renowned for crafting top-of-the-line shock absorbers and suspension systems. In summary, this setup offers 12 inches of travel and 16 inches of clearance. Although the R1T provides less ground clearance than the Cybertruck, 14.9 inches compared to 16 inches, the R1T's suspension remains impressive as it incorporates a hydraulic roll control system shared with none other than the McLaren MP4, 12C and 720S. Jason, owner of the YouTube channel Engineer Explained, shared his experience with the R1T's suspension system in an interview with Sandy Monroe. The Rivian off-road, um, and, and especially in the scenario of potholes, that suspension is just like game changer. Like it was like mind blowing because they were telling me on the phone call, I had a, a call with them about uh, the suspension and, and how it all works. And it's like, it's very McLaren like, um, except this is an off-road vehicle. However, dealing with challenges like ascending a slope such as Hell's Gate requires more than just handling flat roads and potholes. To gain a deeper understanding, let's closely examine the structure of the Cybertruck's suspension system. Recently, Dan Edmonds from Car and Driver undertook a teardown of a Cybertruck, providing a comprehensive analysis of its system. This is a double wishbone suspension, dual control arm suspension, take your pick. It's a high mount upper arm, which means this arm and ball joint are above the top of the tire, which are just below this bolt. Aluminum knuckle, uh, stamped steel upper, upper arm uh, below, the lower control arm is aluminum, and I see a fixed stabilizer bar, some pretty cool looking uh, air springs over the shocks, and kind of massive calipers, and interesting looking rotors. While we've discussed the front suspension, it's worth noting that the Cybertruck's rear suspension shares similarities. Dan Edmonds aptly described it as having some of the same ingredients, but like burritos and tacos, they're mixed together differently. So as of now, can we confidently assert that Cybertruck outperforms the R1T in terms of off-road capabilities? Not quite. It would be premature to make such a judgment without examining the locking differential, a topic we'll explore in the following section. Second feature, locking differential, indeed. Locking differentials play a crucial role in off-roading capabilities, sometimes even more so than the suspension system. Just four months ago, the Cybertruck faced difficulties climbing Hollister Hill, primarily due to the absence of a locking differential. However, Wes Morrill, Cybertruck lead engineer, 
disclose that the team is actively experimenting with both mechanical and electronic locking systems for the rear axles, which will be enabled in an upcoming software update. So why do lockers matter? Let me explain. Locking, differential, or lockers, can lock the axles together to provide 100% of available torque to the wheel with traction. During turns, a locking differential functions similarly to an open one, allowing wheels to rotate at different speeds. However, when traction is needed, the axles can be mechanically locked together, forcing the wheels to rotate at the same speed. This is especially helpful in off-roading scenarios when one wheel is off the ground or on a surface with extremely low traction. When locked, the wheel in the air doesn't receive any torque because there is no traction, and the wheel on the ground receives all the torque, allowing the vehicle to move. However, Rivian chose not to include mechanical locking differentials, either front or rear, in the dual motor R1T, making this version not suitable for off-roading. For enthusiasts seeking hardcore off-roading experiences, the quad motor R1T emerges as a more compelling option than its dual motor counterparts. Notably, the Rivian R1T showcased at Hell's Gate is equipped with a quad motor setup. With this configuration, each wheel benefits from a dedicated independent electric motor, eliminating the need for traditional lockers. This means that any wheel can rotate at any speed and receive whatever torque the electric motor can supply. To clarify, the quad motor setup of the R1T boosts up to, to 835 horsepower and delivers 908 foot-pounds of torque. Meanwhile, the Trimotor Cybertruck, or Cyber Beast, also present at Hell's Gate, surpasses this with 845 horsepower and an impressive 10,926 foot-pounds of torque. While the four-motor system of the R1T quad motor eliminates the necessity for a locking differential, the substantial loss of torque compared to the Cyber Beast results in a slower climbing pace for the R1T. Last but not least, let's talk about the tyre. Returning to the off-road challenge at Hell's Gate, let's examine the tyres chosen by Tesla and Rivian for this endeavour. Tesla outfitted the Cyber Beast with stock tyres, specifically the factory OEM tyre size 285-65 R20. Meanwhile, Rivian opted for all-terrain tyres, specifically the 275-65R20 Pirelli Scorpion All-Terrain Plus tyre for the R1T. The primary difference between these tyres lies in their rolling resistance. All-terrain tyres typically exhibit greater rolling resistance compared to their pavement-bound counterparts, enhancing their traction and off-road capabilities. Now, if you're interested in calculating the exact rolling resistance coefficients of the R1T and Cyberbeast as they tackle Hell's Gate, you can utilize the following formula, where C is the rolling coefficient, tire pressure, P, is measured in bars, while velocity, V, is measured in kilometers per hour. The tire pressure on the Cybertruck is 50 psi, 345 bar, and on the R1T it's 48 psi, 3.3 bar. The velocity of the R1T is approximately 3 km per hour, while the Cyber Beast moves at about 10 km per hour. Therefore, the rolling resistance coefficient for the Cyber Beast is approximately 0.0082, and R1T is 0.01, that concludes our comprehensive comparison of off-roading capabilities between the Cybertruck and the Rivian R1T. Moreover, there is one small thing that affects off-roading, this is the approach and departure angle. The R1T showcases an impressive approach angle of 35.5 degrees and a departure angle of 30 degrees. While the Cybertruck features slightly lower angles of 35 degrees and 28 degrees respectively. In summary, the R1T benefits from superior grip tyres, better angle, and the quad motor setup, which eliminates the need for locking differentials. However, it still falls short of surpassing the Cyberbeast in off-road capability. Furthermore, with an upgrade to better tyres, I believe the Cyber Beast could even conquer Hell's Gate in less than one minute. What do you think about it? Is there any aspect related to off-roading that we may have overlooked? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest Tesla's innovation. For now, goodbye and see you soon.